I watched a Western last night and I took some images off the, the, the movie and I got uh, these people at a full gallop and uh, this one here, actually no, I think it's this one here that I'm going to put uh, to the next horse and he's going to be coming up right behind this horse. And I've got to make uh, the armature, and I also have to try to get the uh, joints correct. I was just bending the wire where I thought it was, but I want to mark where the joints are and get them a little more accurate. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, for now, anyway. I've got somebody coming over, and uh, we're going to be talking about some stuff, and uh, so I don't know how much I'm going to get done. Time to play with some clay. Right, I got to uh, cut some wood and uh, my friend just left. Uh, I've got to decide what kind of... Uh, positioning I'm going to have this horse coming in behind him um, I've got this almost exactly the same movement that this horse is doing and I don't want to do that but I'm trying to I think what I'll do is I'll do a two front leg on the ground type one I think yeah I've got enough I, I, I've, I've left enough wire below the hoof so that I can anchor it if I have to and I can cut off the excess back here so what I'm thinking of doing is let me be right back I more or less worked out this movement on this horse and I think I like that a lot and uh, so I'm going to work the horse more like this uh, I'm actually what I'm doing is I'm increasing the size of the horses uh, because I wanted to put people on them and uh, get some kind of uh, action going on I'm not sure exactly what yet but it's going to be something that's going to be at least a little more interesting than a stoic uh, static piece Anyway, I show how I make my armatures, and I, I show also how I scale them in uh, a two DVD set on how to make armatures for both male and for human and the horses and dog. And uh, it's very uh, informative on how to do that sort of thing, and I show how I come up with a scale and it's something you can do uh, with the right uh, information. I'm sorry, I'm babbling. Okay, I'm trying to straighten out the legs again because they're going to be more straight, stiff, hitting the ground. My table's getting a little crowded right now and I'm a little disjointed because of that, but anyway. I'm going to cut off the excess because I don't need it. And, uh... Bring this leg forward and actually it's in a good position right here cut off the excess
Okay, this may not be all that interesting, so what I'll do is I'll come back when I get, well, it may be interesting, I don't know. The horse's head's going to come back up. further close forward I'm just trying to work out the design of the uh, movement of the horse and try to keep it authentic in how he's moving and figure out how much of the board I need because I got to cut this board so I can take this horse off and work on it separately from the uh, other horses so I'm gonna need it to mark it if I can find my magic marker okay got the piece of wood cut I think what I need to do is get the horse mounted. Mark where I'm going to put the holes. If I seem a little disjointed today, it's because it's one of those days where everything seems a little off. I come home and there's a bolster sitting on my fence. <laughs> just, that kind of freaks you out. Especially when you're getting ready to turn 75 and death is looking you squarely in the face and you keep on seeing this damn vulture outside your house. Anyway, I've uh, worked out how to do this and have it so I can take it apart without interfering with the clay. And uh, what I did was I put a piece of wood, a thin piece of wood, around this uh, armature that I've got here. And I've got enough room to uh, attach the other horse onto this. And I've done it with one screw here. Um, what I'll do is, if I can find my magic marker again, is I'll just mark the corner of this piece of wood so that I know right where it's going. Now, I've never made an armature like this before, so or a base like this before, so it's, it takes a little imagination and trial and error. I'm going to lift up the back legs with uh, this clay, this uh, monster clay. I hope it goes. Ah. The key is not to lose your patience. <laughs> I try not to anyway. But just keep hacking away. I've got to get ready to go. Not be quite so forceful with the screw this time. Don't have to bury it into the wood. There we go. Now.
That seems like a pretty good position right there. Now the reason I'm doing going to this extent is because I want to be able to take these horses off and work on them separately. And uh, it takes some designing to do that. Did I mention you have to be almost an engineer to be a sculptor? Horse number two. All right, I'm going to have to leave it at this, I think, until tomorrow, and I'll come back and continue this tomorrow. I think. <laughs> Don't know what I'm going to do yet. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.